All right, today we're going to do uh, some review for selecting and masking a few different things, and, and uh, that can help us with our surrealism work a little bit later. So I'm starting with, I got two images here, the dog and the flower. Uh, I'm going to start with the dog. And on selecting, generally what you want to do is start with what could be the easiest and work your way down to what would be more complicated. Um, that's going to help because it's not always going to work out exactly the way you want it on the first go. I'm going to start off with this object select tool. And this thing is brand new and can work really well, but sometimes it's not perfect. So I'm, what the ob objective is right now, I'm going to select this dog. We're going to copy to paste the dog and we're going to remove the dog from the original design. So with this object select tool, if you just draw a box around the dog, it can sometimes, oh, do a great job. And this actually cut it out quite well and as you can see I can do a control C control V and then I can get my move tool and you can see how I cut them out quite well if I hide this background you can see it's pretty good now let's do the same thing but this time I want to like remove the dog from this background image so anytime we're gonna mess with the actual image let's always make a copy and I'm gonna hide that so we can see it and Again, let's use the object select tools in this case, since it's a nice uh, tool that works quite well. And but what I wanted you to notice about this selection as I zoom in really tight here, you can see that it doesn't quite get all the way around the outside. So if I come up here to select, modify, and expand, um, I know for a fact on this particular one, 10 pixels works quite well. You see how it increased it by 10 pixels. You may have to play with that depending on your selection. Um, but I zoom out, you can see it's outlined them here. And I'm just going to make sure you're on a selection tool. So any of these guys here, right click and you can fill and the default should be content aware. And I'm gonna hit okay. And as you can see, if I deselect, uh, that took out the dog quite well. And so now I'm able to have the dog moved over. And that's all we're going to do for this section. You can take a screenshot of the dog taken out of the image and moved over. That's pretty simple. Now let's go move on to the flower. <clears throat> flower, same idea. Choose the tool that's going to work the best. You know, um, quick selection could work okay, magic wand. But let's start with the object select since it, it does work quite well. And that did a pretty good job. I can see some spots where it didn't select where I want it. Um, so you could go with quick select. Let's try and see what that looks like. And you start to draw with that. And that's doing a pretty good job. Um, but even then, even then this is doing great either. So um, I might make adjustments with another tool. Or if, if none of those work, maybe it was just a polygon lasso tool, I could just come and click all the way around a bunch of bunch of bunch of clicks and make a good selection like that now that takes longer sometimes that just may be the way that you got to do it so you got to really play selections by ear um i'm going to escape out of that and go back for time's sake and start with the object select tool what i can do is make adjustments if it didn't do it perfect and come in i can do a take away here let's do a zoom in and since I'm on take away, lots of clicks, you can see how you can make adjustments to whatever selection you got going. But the object, the objective for this little assignment is we're going to then add a black and white layer. Now this did the opposite of what I wanted. I want the background black and white. So if you're in Photoshop, you can just open up your properties and click on the mask and you can invert it. Now, if you are not in Photoshop, you're doing Photo P, let me back up a step. What you're going to need to do first in Photo P, and this, of course, works in Photoshop also, as you see here, is make your selection and then go to Select Inverse. And now that's selected all the way back here, and then you can do black and white. So there's multiple ways of doing it. We've talked about that before. Um, and when you have your black and white layer, you can adjust the black and whites contrast of each individual color there. And the last thing I wanted to do with this image to turn in 
was to do a hue and saturation layer and change the petal colors but not the middle yellow part so to do that I'm going to change the petal colors with the hue and saturation and make it yellow but I want to take this and get it back to normal so I'm just going to again use the mask get a brush this side, and you can paint it right out see that of course take a little bit better more time than I did but you get the idea on how that could look all right that's it for the flower and the dog